On a most unlikely Super Bowl team, he may have been the most unlikely member of all. The player who tallied more points than any other player on the field, he was a mid-season pickup, who never even played football until he was almost done with high school. And at 5'9", 160 pounds, he's often playing with and against men more than double his weight. But say this about Philadelphia Eagles kicker Jake Elliott. When he nailed field goal after field goal throughout the NFL season, including Super Bowl 52, it shouldn't have come as a surprise. Before football, he had plenty of experience marrying accuracy with power, maneuvering a ball, and hitting his targets. What's your tennis story? That was, you know, that was my first sport probably I ever played. I uh, started back when I was like three or four years old, just hitting the ball around. And, you know, I was one of the guys that played every sport growing up, but first true passion. What kind of a player were you? I was very, very versatile. You didn't just hang around the baseline, did you? No, no. Um, you'd think with my size, I'd just be kind of a scrappy baseliner, but, um, you know, I like to serve in volley. I like, I like putting, putting points away early. One of your coaches said he, he came to the net a lot, and I don't know if it was because he was athletic or he got bored easily. Which, which one was it? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was probably because I was looking for a tweener. <laughs> you, ever, you ever knock off a tweener? Yeah, a couple times. That's one of my favorite shots for sure. So college tennis was was the goal growing up? Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted I wanted to play collegiately in some some sport, and you know, just thought tennis was always going to be that route. Where did it all go wrong for you? Uh, when I picked up a football. What happened? <laughs> Freshman year was a pep rally. Yeah, I went to the pep rally before the big homecoming football game and um, got called out of the crowd at some field goal kicking contest that they had for the students. And, you know, went out there and knocked a bunch through and didn't really think anything of it. And, you know, the head football coach was sitting on the sidelines and as I was walking off, he introduced himself and told me, you know, I should really consider playing. Had you ever kicked before, even just, just messing yeah, around just in the backyard? Messing, just messing around with my buddies, and you know, every once in a while we'd kick a field goal after we after we would score in a pickup football game, and it just came kind of naturally to me. After my junior season, I was pretty successful, and I was like, shoot, you know, a lot a lot might change here. <laughs> How's tennis helped your kicking? I think straight mental aspect is, is the biggest thing for me. Knowing you're out there by yourself on a tennis court. If you mess up, it's all on you. Can't blame the wide receiver. No, you, exactly. Uh, exactly. You can blame the holder, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> when you had your pre-draft interviews, players get asked all sorts of things. Did tennis come up? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. The mental aspect was definitely a huge thing, and they realized how mentally tough you have to be to be a tennis player and how crucial that is to be a kicker. Um, that's actually one of the main reasons I was offered a scholarship out of, out of high school. After four years at the University of Memphis, where he set a conference record for career points, Jake was selected in the 2017 draft, the 153rd pick by the Cincinnati Bengals. He was waived right before the start of the season, but was quickly picked up and signed by the Eagles. Weeks later, he kicked a 61-yard field goal on the final play of the game to beat the New York Giants not only winning the game, but winning the starting position. The second week I'm playing for the Eagles, I have this opportunity to line up from 61 yards and um, really, really make a lasting legacy here. Quarterback says to you, hit this field goal, you get my game check. <laughs> it was a pretty uh, pretty wild moment. You, you make the field goal. Yeah. Does Carson Wentz give you his game check? We ended up donating it to, uh, to a charity. We always hear about the Super Bowl, biggest extravaganza in American sports. Tennis players say, you think about these things in your head when you're a kid, but until you get to that Wimbledon final, there's no way to prepare. What's it like walking out there like, this is the Super Bowl? Yeah, no, it was, it was crazy. And in my, in my mind, I truly felt like I'm approaching this like a normal game. It's gonna be totally fine. Until I actually went out there for that first kick, that's when everything kind of kind of hit me. You know, I was jogging out on the field and my legs were so heavy. Well, what happened when you kicked the ball for the first time? It, it felt amazing. You know, you, you kick it and you see it flying through the air and going through the uprights and everything just kind of calmed down after that. Despite his fairy tale success as a kicker in the NFL, Jake's passion for the sport that indirectly launched his football career has never gone wide left. How'd that feel? Not too bad. Uh, knocked a little rust off and, you know, tried try to get some competitive points in there. Kicking field goals in the Super Bowl or knocking off that tweener? Oh, the tweener felt pretty good. Haven't done it in a while. Just so, feel good, you know, don't that's they? That's awesome. As a rookie, as a guy who wasn't even playing football five, six years ago. Do you have to stop yourself from saying? Not until after the game. <laughs> it hits you after Not the until game? after the game, yeah. I truly just never really get caught up in that kind of stuff. I don't try to make the moment bigger than it needs to be, and 
Um, I'll, I'll reflect on it, you know, once the season's over and all that, but in the moment, I'm just kind of kind of enjoying the ride. Technically, kicking's still kicking. Exactly. Hasn't changed.